Aloha y'all, welcome back to Pete's Treasures. Today I'm gonna show you a haul from my trip to the Houston area when I went to visit my older brother and his family for our belated Christmas get together. We actually didn't go to any thrift stores surprisingly, but we went to two really cool flea markets, uh, Trader's Village, as well as Cole's Flea Market in Pearland. So it was a lot of fun, it was great seeing my family, and so you're gonna see a combination of items from that trip and a few of the gifts that they gave me. So hope you enjoy, please give this video a like, and subscribe if you haven't to see more content. And I'd really hope you enjoy this haul, so here we go. All right, here is the spread. I just thought these were some cool things that I wanted to show you. Let's start with some things for the boys. I have these barbecue chips, isn't that cute? They're gonna rip it up right away, but then they're gonna carry around, you know, the fabric for a while. And it's always great when you can get items for yourself or for your family that's cheaper. So this was like a dollar and this was like a dollar. It's one of those tough bones that has these little treats. I got this movie cause I had never heard of it before. And it looks right up my alley, very different. And what struck me, or what caused me to get it, is it's from Jim Henson. Let me know in the comments if you've ever watched Mirror Mask. I didn't see it on any of the streaming platforms like Netflix or Hulu, so I picked it up for a dollar. Um, I haven't watched the actual DVD in a while, but anyways, I thought it was interesting. This is from my sister-in-law, Becca. So thank you, Becca. I am going to put this in my music room. It's gonna fit right into some other decor that I put in my classroom. And if you haven't seen the video where I show my thrifted uh, classroom items, I'll put that in the description. Uh, this was given to me by somebody at the flea market, Meskin Pineapple. I thought it was really cute. And it's all about, you know, supporting Mexican owned business and the Trader's Village that I got this from, there's a large Hispanic population. And so I thought that was really cool how he gave that to me. It kind of fits my little tiki decor, even though it's not tiki. But anyways, it smells good and thank you for giving me that. Next, this one woman had this for $3 and it's called a Chirpy Top Wine Pourer. Isn't that cute? I'm gonna have to demonstrate it. But I wanna sell it, so I don't think I'm going to. But apparently, it just chirps. It reminds me of like a pie bird meets a wine decanter. Uh, I mean, aerator. A wine aerator to put air in the wine to make it uh, taste a little better. Uh, to get it oxygenated. So anyways, all the words. I thought that was cool. And I think they can sell around 15 from what I remember. So I think I will flip that. Very cute and up my alley. I like quirky things. These next little promotional buttons, I believe were a dollar each. I think he actually gave me a deal too. Uh, this is Toy Story the video game. How cool, you can tell it's old from that back. I loved the movie Homeward Bound. And um, here are these, what do you call it? Lenticular Aladdin on appearing on video October 1st. I got three of those and here is P -p -p Please check out our Disney Easter videos. I just thought those were cool. Those were probably from like Blockbuster or a store that was selling it. I love vintage advertising and it got a little bent, but for $2, I got this mysterious Easter break island. <laughs> it's like a Budweiser ad that's actually a postcard. Love the flamingo. I'm gonna frame it because I think it's such a cool little piece of art. Speaking of art, this is a Repro. I think it's Repro, uh, but it I, it still looks kind of vintage because it can be Repro yeah, and vintage at the same time. Like, I think this looks like an ad from like the 50s or 60s, but it's probably from the 2000s or something. Have you met Mr. Goodbar? Good? You bet. Uh, I think of my grandmother with Mr. Goodbar. That was her favorite. And I'm gonna display this in my house. And I got it for $5. Uh, next is probably the most money I spent, but how could you not look at those? I recognize them right away as Home Co. Either that or Burwood, let's see. Ooh, it's very dirty, don't judge. <laughs> um, it is that faux plastic and we've talked about it a lot on this channel. I actually don't see it. Um, maybe it's on one of them. 
Anyways, I know for sure it's either Burwood, Home Interiors, or Sirocco. I guess it could be Dart as well. Um, but anyways, they sell not as much as I thought, and I think I paid about $12 for both of them total. So not much resale value. I could probably double my money, but I think they're super cool, and they might do better at the antique booth if we decide to expand our antique booth. But aren't those fun? Can't you picture that in like a nursery or like a retro bar? I think of the pink elephants. That's very kitschy and mid-century, um, and I just love it. This is just such a random haul, but look at this. They actually sold this at the grocery store because it's not um, liquor. It's like great taste of peanut butter and whiskey because in Texas, you can't sell liquor at a grocery store. And this was purchased at HEB. It's just like a peanut butter alcohol product. And I thought it was cool. I'll probably keep the bottle afterwards because I'm weird like that. Next, I believe I bought it for $3. This was... Um, a Benny Hanna mug, and I did not have this one. I have my own little collection. I think it could go for about $12 to $15, but I'm gonna keep it. I like how it looks in the light. Um, next was a dollar. This is the Space Center from in Houston. The Kennedy Space Center, is that what they call it? Oh, Johnson Space Center, my bad. Uh, and yeah, this was a Houston area, so it was not a shock to find it there. I just love these types of glasses where it has the gold and most of the gold was intact. So that was a great find. Next, uh, I got this Jolly Green Giant and I thought it was cute. It's not Funko and I thought it was Funko. So it makes me think that this is actually vintage and it was $5. The reason why I thought it might be Funko is because I got these uh, Funko Ad Icons mystery box and I got the little Kool-Aid man. It's funny because I actually have the full-size Funko of this Kool-Aid man. Maybe one day I'll show off my Funko collection <laughs> whenever there's not product blocking the way because <laughs> um, that's one of the rooms we keep our profit piles. Shh, don't tell. Uh, I'm glad I didn't get the Jolly Green Giant as much as I love it because I had already picked that up and this was $5.00. I really wanted the little, uh, not ho-ho, what do you call that little guy, the little hockey puck? Ding dong, that's what it is. Uh, so yeah, so really cute, and I'm happy with the Kool-Aid man. Uh, let's move right along. The same guy that gave me these buttons for cheap, he said like everything was a dollar. He just threw this in, and I actually already knew what this was. This is an Avon little like lip balm kit. Oh no, it's a fragrance. Glace, ooh la la. Just a cute little mouse pin. So thank you, I actually have been wanting that. But I bought this because I thought it was very kitschy. Um, maybe Bradley exclusives. I'm gonna hang it up next to our other fish. And I thought this was super cute and I have a thing for planters. Super tiny for a dollar, how cute. And yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and go to this item because the same guy got me this. He wanted $2 for this deer planter, y'all. That is a great deal. Very good deal. It only has that little chip. So it's actually going to go in my collection. I have a collection of these. But man, I would sell that in a heartbeat for $2. I really like this little cookie jar that's 101 Dalmatians. And I actually paid $2. Ooh, my finger got stuck. Um, you know, I used to have these as a kid, but I don't have the cookie jar one, and I just thought he was cute. And this is so silly. Like, Aaron, why are you showing a spoon? Well, we went to Bahama Bucks, and what I never knew is these spoons change color. The reason I wanted to show this is because it reminded me of the cereal box prizes I would get as a kid that change color in, like, your milk or if you put it in the freezer. And I don't know. That was just really cool. Uh, this is, I got it for a dollar, Carbach Brewing Company. And the reason why I bought it is I thought that little hops guy was cute. I'm gonna keep this, but I also love the little daisies, flowers, and the little mushrooms. Really cute, and I kind of collect quirky juice glasses, as well as liquor glasses. This is a Captain Morgan Spice Rum cocktail glass that I had never seen before. 
and my mom saw it and I'm like, I'll take that. She didn't want it anyways and it was two dollars. Great deal. No, it was a dollar. I lied. Even better of a deal. Next is some things that Barry and Becca, my brother and sister-in-law gave me. Here is a Starbucks tumbler. I can't have enough of those. As well as candles. I love, love, love candles. This is Kiwi Passion Fruit. And a little dog dad. We're going to put either our little pencils or doodads in it. Doodads. Do y'all know the word doodads? And peach bellini. This smells so good. And I love it because my grandma who just passed her favorite thing was peach bellinis. This is Boom Boo Rum, so thank you guys. I can't wait to try it, it's the XO version. And yeah, I've only tried it once and I hear it's a good sipping rum and I love that bottle. Uh, so thank you for my gifts, y'all. Uh, they got me a few more things, but that's what I wanted to show on this video. I bought this can for $4 because I like quirky beer cans and this one is old, Huddy Gold. And it's fireworks from 85. I just love that the fireworks make a little smiley face. So yeah, that's gonna go in my collection. Moving right along, for $2, I got this all glass Starbucks tumbler. Uh, I use these all the time, just not the glass versions. And there actually weren't that many online. So, you know, I'm gonna list this high and see what it can go for, but I'm guessing I can start it around 20, maybe even a little more because stuff like this can go for that much. Um, we've shared a lot of Starbucks products at Pete's Treasures and sometimes they do sit, but you end up getting a good resale value. Uh, one of my favorite things that I got was from a lady. It was unmarked and she said $5. Name the brand, y'all. We find it a lot. It is Fitz and Floyd. Look at that fish. Now the cool thing I liked about this picture is not shipping it. Matthew's gonna have fun with that. But I love that there's no chips or cracks. And with this much detail, the fact that it has all these things that could get nicked, that could get nicked and it didn't is great. So $5, I think it could actually go for about 30, or at least that's where I'm gonna start it. And to end, I loved these plates because I don't know who has seen Leslie Jordan during quarantine. He would be on Instagram all the time. And me being a dinnerware person, he was sharing his plates that he absolutely adored called Barnyard Toile. And he's so Southern and I thought it was so funny the way he would say that. Well, I found these and it's from the same line, but it's Bunny Toile by J. Wilfred. They're kind of like the Certified International. They make a lot of different, you know, houseware things. And yeah, I got these plates for less than a dollar each. I believe I have three of them. So I think I'm gonna sell the set of three for maybe about $24 or so. At least that's what my research tells me. I also got this really cool Hager sculpture from the flea market for only $5. Actually, I think it was $8. Never mind. <laughs> this can go for about $30, but I don't see it on eBay right now. Um, there's plenty of different Hager sculptures, just not this one. It's a mother and child, and I just love the sleek black design of it. Very mid-century looking to me, even though it's, it's probably from the 70s or 80s. Um, but yeah. I think it's really cool and I would totally keep it. Hope you guys enjoyed this little haul from my trip to Houston. Let me know in the comments if you're interested in anything, if I said it was for sale. <laughs> and check out our other hauls. Thanks so much for watching again. Keep digging for treasure because you won't find it if you don't look. And we just love flea markets, don't we, Mr. Jolly Green Giant? Oh yeah!